With the 2022 NBA season already underway, there's a couple young players in the league that certain teams need to take a leap for them to be successful. And one of those teams is the Chicago Bulls. Because with a slur of injuries and not really, you know, making any substantial additions to their roster throughout the offseason, they are more reliant on their young guys to really take that leap to really push them to a new level. And right now, one of those young guys that I think definitely improved so far after just one game and what I've seen so far from last season is Ayo Dusumu. Now, Ayo Dusumu is the Illinois product that fell all the way to the second round simply because of age. He spent three years in college and a lot of GMs don't like to use their first round picks on guys that spend, you know, more than two years in college. So, you know, he fell all the way to the Chicago Bulls. And in this first season, he let them know why it was a big mistake for a lot of teams to pass on him that many times because he showed a mix of shooting, defense and playmaking that very few guards have within five years of being in the NBA, much less, you know, three years in college and going into the season with Lonzo Ball looking to be out for a substantial amount of time and Zach Levine probably being in and out of the lineup with some nagging injuries Edison was going to get plenty of burn at that point guard position to really show what he can do and in my opinion he's going to be the large reason why the Chicago Bulls are a lot better than a lot of people think during his first NBA season Edo Sumo posted 8.8 .8 points 3.3 assists, 2.8 rebounds, a steal a game, half a block a game on 52% shooting and 38% from three. The highest field goal percentage of any rookie that played the amount of time and took the amount of shots that he did and probably one of the best playmaking rookies when he did have the starting position because after he did take the starting position with Londo Ball being out for some time during the season, he averaged 10.9 points, 5.4 rebounds, 3.6 assists, 52% shooting again, still keeping up that same efficiency, while still shooting 36% from three. And with two ball dominant players like a Zach Levine and a DeMar DeRozan on this roster, it's very nice and a big plus to have somebody like Ayo Dosumu that's being able to score as efficiently and pass as well as he did with Lonzo Ball out. Being able to keep his dribble alive and find quick passes like dump offs or alley oops, um, being having some quick twitch passes to find cutters, being able to read the game enough to you know run their offense and find open shooters and make some pretty nice advanced reads in my opinion. Overall, his playmaking ability I think is the most advanced part of his game with his defense being the second part of it. But being as good as a playmaker as he was, was definitely a big plus and added on to the near 40% that he was shooting from three honestly is another best thing that could happen for this roster but i think the biggest part of his game that's definitely going to have him some staying time and probably be the best help for the chicago bulls is the fact that defensively he's not that far from lonzo ball and the fact that lonzo ball is an all nba level defender is saying a lot for somebody that was a rookie last season but with his mix of length and size and lateral quickness he was able to wreak havoc on some of the NBA's better scorers last season, holding Trey Young to about 36% shooting last season, holding Jason Tatum to 5 of 16 shooting in one game that he played against them, holding Darius Garland to 13 of 31 shooting. Multiple of the NBA's best playmakers and scorers were simply in jail whenever he was in front of them, which means you won't miss Lonzo Ball too much for the amount of time he'll be gone. I think Lonzo is still probably the better defender and the better shooter and also the better playmaker. He's just overall the better guard, but that's because Lonzo is also a lot older and gave a lot more time to develop. So with Lonzo Ball coming back, if Ayodosun was moved back to the bench position, you now have a guard tandem that's wreaking havoc on the NBA's best scorers and best guards in the game. With something like Alice Caruso that's already wreaking havoc on the defensive end also. But going this season, he can definitely seem to get stronger while he showed a lot of potential to be a great passer. There's still some times where he made some very bad reads and sometimes he does try to force things a little bit too much. But you expect that from any rookie guard at any point to get used to the NBA. Um, overall, I think he can become a better shooter as the year did go on. His, I think his legs, the rookie legs finally did start to hit him as his shooting percentage started to drop a little bit. That's normally a sign that, you know, the exhaustion of a full NBA season started to catch up to him, especially somebody that played 77 games the past season. So I think getting stronger, building your stamina, getting a stronger body, like he said, as he was going to this past summer. I think that's going to be the perfect thing for him to do to play a full season at the full ability that he was last year. And I fully expect him to average 
points and at least six assists a game this season while being a 40 percent three-point shooter which is exactly what the chicago bulls team does need somebody that's steady at that point guard, point guard position that can definitely be a floor general but still also defer to the two main scores that are on this roster and be a great ten to make life a little bit easier on somebody like vucevic that normally is kind of the odd man out in their offensive rotation and yes i fully understand why certain people have the chicago bulls dropping off with how talented the eastern conference got and with how hard they dropped off in the second half of the year last season but keep in mind that they were the first seed when healthy and as soon as injuries started to hit and their schedule got a little bit more difficult and let's be real here they didn't beat any good teams last season like there's a whole running meme of the fact that they couldn't beat good teams but with a young guard like this on the roster with Lonzo Ball coming back in with Patrick Williams here hopefully for a full season and DeMar looking like he's very much going to be able to replicate what he did it last season as a all-NBA second team player I think the Chicago Bulls team has a very good chance of still being just as good as last year and still being up there as one of the higher seeds going into playoffs now that could also fall apart and they could definitely be as bad as people may think but i genuinely do believe in this roster and i do believe in ayo dosumu and overall what this roster can do when they're completely healthy it's just the simple fact of staying healthy but let me know you guys think in the comments down below do you think ayo dosumu can become one of the better backup point guards or better guards in the nba and develop into something really good i think he has a chance to be an all nba level defender and one of the best playmakers in the league given the time and given the minutes and experience on this roster but let me know you guys you think in the comments down below that being said this is fib that's my time and I'm out.